طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته مرحبا بكم في امسيه جديده من امسيات الباحثين السودانيين في محيط اعتصام القياده العامه سقطت ما سقطت صابنا آه اليوم البرنامج بدا متاخر شويه نسبه لوجود الدوري بتاع الابطال و الأساس الحمد لله بتوع اللغه الانجليزيه موجودين اساسا انه يبدو نادي مخاطبه اللغه الانجليزيه والليلة يورون الموضوع شنو ونشارك كلنا ان شاء الله معاهم شكرا جزيلا لكم تفضل ثانك يو سو ماتش دكتور انوار السلام عليكم جود ايفنينج ايفريبادي جود ايفنينج فور ذا بيبل هو ار سيتينج هير رايت ناو ويز اس اند فور ذا بيبل هو ار واتشينج اس رايت ناو اند كونغراتيشن فور ليفربول فانز I'd like for Tottenham fans. Uh, we'd like to start our a daily English club today. So we're gonna uh, just uh, start by just letting you use a uh, choose a topic for today. Okay, we're gonna uh, suggest some topics, then you're gonna vote for having a topic. If you have any idea, you could say your idea. You could reveal it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. And good evening, everyone. So uh, today we're gonna do something a bit different. Uh, we're gonna we're going to have your opinion on which topic precisely that we should speak. And people online, of course, they can join with it. We can have some suggestions with the topic that we need to discuss. And we are more than willing to start discussing it. Of, co of course, after all, what we aim for is to have a mutual communication with everyone who is here today. So, uh, if anyone has any ideas for the what, what for today's topic, uh, we're more than happy to. Uh, Yeah, we're more than happy to receive it. So uh, please, if anyone has an idea, don't hesitate to share it with us. Your mic. <laughs> All right, so one of the suggestions that we have currently are the conspiracies that are being plotted by the TMC in order to um, in order to overthrow the uh, the city that we have currently. So this is one of the suggestions I think we we can go with for now till we maybe have a, uh, till we have like any other type of suggestion. So we can start with it if anyone is agreeing with it. Okay, what about the the people who are watching us? Did they suggest any topic there? Ali? Is there any suggestion there? Active listening. Huh? Active listening. No, no. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Comments. Ah. No, no. No. What do you think? <laughs> yes, uh, my name is Mohammed, Mohammed Karim. Um, you know, these days everybody's just like asking about, um, you know, the element of, 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 of civil government, okay? So the future. I mean, uh, what are your expectations about uh, civil government, okay? And the uh, elements of civil government that that we are hoping to help you. All right, so this is, I think, it's a very interesting topic for us to speak with, uh, to speak about also the civil government as a whole, uh, the, the identification of the civil government and the functionality of the civil uh, government, as well as the methodology of the civil government. I think uh, those are type of things that we can discuss for today, and we can go deep into this because we can see people over here, like in the city, usually screaming for a civil government. We can clearly see, like uh, we can clearly hear them saying. 
but then he go but like to be honest if you grab like 20% at least of the people who are over here right now and ask him what is a civil government i don't think that he will give you a correct definition for the uh, for it so i think it's to, it's better for us to start the awareness of, of the civil government to ident identify it first what is the advantages of the civil government what are the possible disadvantages of the civil, civil government if any and uh, the functionality and the methodology of the civil government so i think it's very interesting topics for us to go through is that right i do do with you so about you huh? Okay, there is a suggestion from the group how could the political party be united? Yeah, it's a guess. I consider this uh, a great uh, topic to speak about it. My name is Adam Ismail and I consider this a topic uh, better to speak about it. Uh, how could the parties to be united? So I consider we must uh, this, uh, I am not uh, uh, set to speak about this, but uh, I consider we uh, can speak about this uh, topic. You can, uh, you can tease uh, the, the opinions of other parties here. Very good. What about having only two parties in Sudan as Americans have? They have only two parties. Why don't we have the same? And instead of having conflicts between those parties, we could have only two, and that would be that would be good, right? And instead of making conflicts between parties, many, many, so many parties, more than even 170 something parties, right? So this will make a conflict. I think I think this is even it was made by the NCP to distribute the effort and to keep dominating the situation. So having two parties would be good. What do you think about this topic? Having only two parties in the country. Huh? What do you think? Do we need to have only two parties or more than maybe uh, as we have right now more than 170 parties? Which is better? More parties or less parties? Which is better? Okay, come over here. Welcome. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, I consider the less parties better than today. We have a lot of parties here. Uh, because uh, uh, I consider, in my opinion, the majority uh, politician here in our country, uh, they need to appeal for to, uh, to make their party strong and rebuild together. So, if we make a less party in our country and we are united together, I consider this a better, and also we can get a benefit from this to uh, from this party to be together, and also our country will be. Uh, uh, in advance, uh, if I'm wrong, you can correct me. Uh, so I consider uh, this uh, my opinion about uh, to be we have uh, a less parties in our country than to be we have uh, more uh, parties. Let me be uh, specific. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of both of them? For example, if you have more parties, what are the advantages and disadvantages if you have more parties? More parties, uh, uh, maybe they have a lot of uh, uh, ideas and also the conflicts between parties also and uh, dispute uh, between these parties. But we have uh, uh, the, the advantage of uh, uh, less parties, if we have uh, less parties, and these are parties uh, strong and united, uh, and they have uh, one word 
and I consider this a better for us. And also we can join these parties. But uh, now we have a lot of parties and everyone uh, he wants to lead this country. So these are bad things and these also make, to, uh, make us to a full or to be in a deep of corruption exactly in our country. So if we have a less country and the different ideas collected together and this uh, plotation and uh, other uh, people will lead us to, uh, to be in uh, uh, to be a better country and to be uh, a real Sudan uh, in the past as the foreigners look for us. So this uh, the advantage uh, of less uh, parties. But uh, when we have a lot of parties, maybe uh, that is make uh, the corruption spread among this country. So this is my opinion about uh, advantage, disadvantage of uh, less and uh, more parties. Thank you so much. All right, so our friend over here, he gave us a very good insight about how about exactly what should our country be, which, uh, which, in his opinion, we should have less parties. So before we get into that, we need to look as a whole in the whole world. I mean, about the countries, how many system of parties do we have here uh, in the world as a whole? So first of all, we have countries with only single parties, uh, such as China. Then we have countries who have two major parties or two main parties. For example, the United States of America, they have the Republics and, Demo uh, the, uh, Republics and Democrats. Yeah, and then we have uh, countries which have uh, multiple parties. We can look at India, for example, the biggest democra the democracy in the world it's considered to be in terms of number of participants in that country. So we have over a billion people who do votes annually at least in India so this is the biggest democracy and it doesn't have neither of the previous it have multiple parties it has regional parties it has state parties and it differs from one state to another and the country as a whole so when we look to each and every uh, one of those countries we can see that first of all in China there is no way it's going to be considered a democracy because it has only a single party that mainly serves the government and uh, yeah, basically satisfies all the requirements of the government. So I don't think that can be safely to be considered a democracy. Of course, in, in the new Sudan, we want the democracy to be the, the main uh, method of ruling. So if we get to the other part, we get to the uh, countries which have two parties, in example, the United States of America. So this system itself, the two-party system, is being heavily criticized. Either in, the United States, either in the United States or abroad, because it's one of the disadvantages of such a, of such a system that it doesn't represent or fully represent each and every sector in the country. So we may be having a certain ideology, but eventually it could represent maximum 80% of the population, which is, in democracy terms, it's somewhat Fair, but still, you have the 20% of the population who doesn't fit in both of those categories. So I don't think it's can be it can be applied in Sudan. The reason for that is I think that maybe last week, uh, Mr. Anwar, we had a discussion here about the parties of the Sudan. Each and every party representative, he came in this stage and gave a reason why does he or she think that their party should be the dominant party. And the main thing about different parties is the ideology. So we have different ideologies to each and every single party. We have some uh, parties that are secular, we have some parties that are religious, we have parties that are liberal, conservatives, we have parties that are, let's say, right-wing and left-wing parties. So the diversity in the parties lead to diversity in ideologies and hence diversity in choices for us as people to pick. I mean, we, we, we don't have to be just either Democrats or Republics. We don't have to be either liberals or conservatives. We can be a bit of both, it de depending on the situation. So I personally believe, I'm sorry for taking too long, but I personally believe that different party system 
is the dominant type uh, is the dominant and uh, much more preferable for us to follow in the new style. Thank you. Thank you so much. But, uh, uh, question for you over here. Uh, how can we just make all those parties just see one in a white way to build the country instead of having many troubles? All right, so, uh, you know, basically for the people who are in universities, they are keep constantly keeping track of the arguments and discussions and somewhat could get up to, you know, routes and fights between the, those parties. But the thing is, it's basically a democracy. We have parties because we think that the party could represent our ideology, our ideas, and our aspiration and aim eventually. So, unfortunately, we have a bad idea about parties as a whole. As a whole. I mean, uh, when it comes to democracy, I think that having different parties could elevate you or it could guide you to have a, a similar ideology of yours personally in order for you to follow. So different parties does not necessarily mean discussions or disagreements. Of course, disagreements are prominent. We're human beings, we're born to differ. But the thing is, I think the democracy eventually will be the key to in figuring out the specific party that should rule the country for a specific period of time and for specific reasons. I mean, it doesn't have to be like a certain party that rules for 20 to 30 years, that's basically monopoly. At the same time, uh, it should not be as chaotic as uh, it has been here previously. Um, each country has its own set of rules, set of, uh, I'm sorry, ideologies, set of challenges, and each party deals with those points differently so i think it depends on the situation as a country now we have a revolution you know we want a party that is firstly opposing the previous regime and has been opposing for the previous years if we're going to the elections after three years of course so it's going to be a tough pick but hopefully Sudanese people will be able to manage it through Thank you so much. I've got a question for you, but after having some participants from there, what do you think? Yeah, welcome. You can introduce yourself first. Yeah, okay. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nazir Salam Bashar. Nazir Salam Bashar. I'm so very proud to stay among with us to order to, in order to discussion some of the very important issues, the parties of the countries, the, the idea of this, the, some people say it is, they need a lot of parts, and others say it is less part. But of course for me, I need this less part. The such, uh, such as the countries, the progress countries, such as the American, and uh, specifically uh, uh, European countries, so the higher development, this I believe that they have low parts. Let me say there is a Sudan here, uh, previous Sudans, or all Sudans, they have 100 parts of parts. Those parts is they not able to agree is a, uh, as a limited time. In order to agree, they need more than one days or three, four days to do a meeting or gathering to discussions. This is the idea is not okay. I think that because it's one of the reasons, uh, one of the reasons is they have people. This is not qualified people. They have not have such qualified to to the better degree in order to uh, arrive this uh, level in order to doing in parliament or whatever it is the place of the uh, public. Yeah. But if you if you less part, it's better. The anyway you have seen your qualified people. They have just suggested the people who have, the, uh, such as like doing exams of uh, limited degrees. Anyone you have allowed to up that degrees, this is uh, this is a reality is come here. This is so enough qualified. This is enough qualified. This is a way. The, this is where the people do progresses. The idea of these people, they have come together in so easily. It's not have any argumentation because anyone you have knowing this is. So qualify and as qualify, they have the limited, the limited, the limited time to have sharing or your ideas in order to doing something better or progress my country. Uh, and that 
is so very important. I I prefer is this uh, is new uh, country uh, right now they are still like doing stay here. I think I I uh, I best wish it to doing the less part in order to arrive those people who have uh, in front of us hundred uh, hundred hundred uh, million of uh, level who have around uh, above or us above to us right now to this lawyer but my country even here is so a lot of resources but the way you have control it the people is not full qualified to order to control this uh, resource where it be going anyone to the case of effect uh, the, uh, uh, the case of effect the higher parties or more parties the, uh, now when you have come uh, see full about your country but just as you, uh, the, the, the uh, dictatorial time, they're doing this. Anyone you have seen about your pocket, and how to I eating, how to leave the better place, and I don't, uh, they, uh, they, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying all the people, but half of people, they didn't care about your country at all. They care about how I live, how I have to better my country or my child or my house, how I can live the better place. Anyone you have care about your your salary or your pocket, how to pull your my pocket. Fortunately, this is bad uh, way or bad idea to the higher uh, uh, to this bad bad idea to higher parts. Uh, that is the next time I best wish it to be less and more qualified and more more knowledgeable uh, men or women to order to share with my country to uh, to a higher level in order to arrive those uh, uh, country to. Uh, leave us to higher place. Thank you so much. Another participant? Yeah, welcome. Okay. Muhammad Adam, right? Hal, welcome. Let's let's convince ourselves that um, we have to admit that. Our statement is always keep raising peace and justice and equality is supposed to be proof. And we have to know we have only one enemy as a common enemy. We have been defeated. We have to be brought of this defeat. And we have to know the mechanism of, of ruling country is not an easy task uh, unless we risk, of course, we pay price. And we have to know that we have been ruling by kindergarten students. They are not well educated, is what I know. And that's why they are even doubt and shock what this new generation bombed. They don't believe. They never expected that the people can come and remove them. And we have to thank, because we have very lighting mind generations. They will come back to their own lands, and of course they will prove, and they will develop. Um, I have some, maybe some objection to have more party is due to dividing countries three, four, five, because we are lack of 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 deeply rooted our previous people that their main problem for our dividings. And if you are welcoming more party, of course Sudan is going to be ten countries at the same time, because we don't have sense of Sudanism. There is an absence of Sudanism. There is the absence of patriotic, we are not patriotism. We are not patriotic to have a sense of country if we have more part. Um, surprising, the country which is only one country as a continent, America for example, have two parties and it's developed country. Why we are looking for more than three, four parts? It's useless of course. As if we are going to prove that we are still basic school students. There is I, I, I wrote some books because I love to read this book and this book of of course I know that always telling the reality. The book saying that Africa is no longer going to be independent unless to remove three um, issues which is attacking our mind. One of them is African nation they are really greedy and the second they are low mentality. And the last one they are subjective nation, they are not objective nation. We want to be objective nation, ladies and gentlemen. And of, of course, we are speaking about dividing group. It, it, it is over. It is over. Because I know that we are 
21 generation they have to speak expression and we have mom africa as sudan is our mom if there is differences between mom kids they have to gather they have to have common interest not to be individual interest if you are speaking about having three four tr i mean party everyone because we have mashallah more tribe every tribe is going to have his own party and it's going to be chaos of course we don't have this sense of of having sudan to fit our milk with within common um um before this bomb is started and of course it's in the way to finish this game i keep telling my friends change is coming and of course change is not overnight we have to be patient please don't wish to have three poor party wish to have just only one party that they have a sense of sudanism they can bring the cow this cow milk can contribute for all Sudan. thank you thank you thank you thank you so much uh, my question is mr muhammad um, we had many or oh, so many parties and you, you i think you think this is a kind of democracy right but how did they do or what they did uh, what did they do so they did not think right all right so my personal perspective about your question is that the previous parties or traditional parties that we had of course we had parties that you know uh, decades of long of establishment right so the thing is they were not able to do anything because they were not able to do anything it, they were suppressed by the previous regime the ncp the national congress party that was ruled by Omar bashir it was the dominant party in the country no other parties could be able to uh, to gather and oppose that party of course they can gather and have their own discussions internal discussions but you cannot oppose the previous regime so that was the main issue of having i basically we, we had a monopoly when it comes to parties only a single party and even the opposition of that party was affiliated to that party i mean it was basically a huge play that we were all watching the parliament was dominantly by the ncp every single sector in the country must be run by ncp members and this is why the other parties were not able to engage and start doing change in the country right so um, this could be a reason for other parties not to be succeeded previously and as for the point of uh, if we had more parties we'd be having more countries or divided country um, you're looking at it of the point of ethnicism or ethnicity not from the point of ideology a party from Darfur could represent me if I'm from the East if I think that my ideology and the party's ideology are identical or at least similar so it, it we have this negative kind of view for parties. I mean, this party represents those type of people, and that party represents those kind of people from X or Y countries, or places, sorry. Uh, parties are not like this. Parties should not fun function like this. Parties should represent an ideology, a target, an aim. It should not represent a certain group of people because this will be, lead to segregation, this will lead to separation from the own country and whenever the, those type of parties have discussions or have disagreements it reflects on the people that they represent and it leads to Parmoda's box to be honest so I have a question for you uh, as we have uh, all of for the crowd as a well, whole it's not personal so we had traditional parties we had the, uh, the communist party opposition party that is the, uh, the uh, communist party the um, uh, national uh, the Sudanese Congress Party and we had the nation party the Umma Party so the, all of those parties are like these uh, decades of years of a, a political experience but unfortunately they did not reflect well with the opposition and until now even the first coalition of freedom of change are there we can clearly see some dis disagreements that are, that are going on so when it comes to the new Sudan, do you think that people should keep up with the previous traditional parties or should the youth or the people of Sudan as a whole start making new parties, uh, youth parties that are presented by the youth and the ideology of our new generations? Because we can clear, we could 
we could claim that those are all parties. They don't represent us, the new people, the youth who made this revolution and made this uh, amazing Syrian over here. So uh, what do you think? Should we continue with the previous traditional parties and make changes with inside of them? Or should we just, you know, drop the whole system and start with new parties? So I would like to hear his answer and of course the answer of everyone who is sitting here. Thank you. Do you know, this was my question for you, but you asked me my question for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sorry for that. Okay. I think people are fed up enough from having, I mean, traditional parties. They need new parties, okay, at least. Those parties should be consisted of youth, because those who made the revolution, those who made the change, so they need something that representing themselves, okay, to represent themselves. So they said that their voice is not heard, so they need to make their voice heard. So we need something that to, to represent them. So this is the point, and I agree with that. <laughs> All right, so he's with the point of making new parties and just dropping out the old system parties. But we must not forget, yeah, uh, in response to what he said, we must not forget that a lot of the youth who were participants in the demonstrations ever since the month of December and even before that were affiliated to one of those pre uh, previous parties, the Ummah, the Communists and the other several opposition parties. The members, the youth members at least, they were affiliated to the demonstrations and affiliate, uh, were co-members. We can clearly, I can give a simple example. Uh, Dr. Mohammed Najib Assam is already affiliated to the uh, Union Party, the Democratic Union Party. So he's not an individual, he's not an independent. He's already affiliated to the party, but we can clearly see the major, the, the major difference that he made in our uprising. Right, so uh, this is my counter reply to him. If anyone else has, uh, yeah, please join in. Uh, good night. Um, uh, you know, speaking about um, parties or political parties is, uh, I think it, it it needs like uh, experts to speak about because I mean to, we need to have like uh, politicians because um, it's the issue that concerns like um, politicians, but. Uh, also, we could try to speak because um, all of us, as human, got um, you know mind. We could analyze, and you know, you know, the nature of, of human being is is that always, always is is, is, is trying to analyze the situation, uh, whether it is political situation or economic situation or I mean the social uh, situation. Um, what I understand about uh, parties, I mean the political parties. Um, you know, political parties are um, uh, sorts of bodies that that always um, always consist like um, individuals. I mean, from society, and they've got like um, specific goals that they always uh, claim about, or they always uh, demand. And these demands are representing these individuals that are inside these bodies. So this is, I think this is, I mean, the, 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 the main, uh, you know, the main role of parties. And when it comes in, uh, when it comes in terms of um, politics, so we all know that in this universe, I mean, you know, I mean, the bodies that, that lead countries are political parties. So speaking about, um, speaking about, civil government then uh, we could find that uh, having political parties 
uh, is one of these elements of what, of having civilian government. So it is your right to affiliate to one of these political parties. And um, these political parties are, I mean, the, the right bodies that should lead these countries because, um, you know, they always, uh, I mean, their, their, their objects or their goals or their visions should be about economy or should be about social issues, should be about, um, you know, uh, political issues, I mean, foreign policies. How do these, I mean, the parties create chances for this nation? So I think having lots of, 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 of parties or political parties, it's not really good actually because this will, um, you know, will lead us to uh, misleading or having like, you know, um, you know different uh, leaders that are having different uh, ideologies and maybe these ideologies are going to affect on the, on the level of what of, of uh, then this, I mean, the, the standard of what of development of what of, of the country itself. And this is what we can see here in our country. So we've got so many uh, parties, I mean, political parties, but when, if we see, we can see that, for example, two or three persons or 10 persons are coming to, you know, to establish like their own party. So this is not, I mean, the, the, the main object of what of political parties. Uh, political parties should consist lots of, I mean, a huge number of what of, of communities or people. And they should have like a clear vision. And this vision should relate it to what should relate it to, uh, you know, uh, should relate it to uh, this I mean, the interest of what of the country and the interest of what of community. It should it should never be out of out of uh, the interest of what of the country. And what we have here um, in our, our our political parties is that they've got different ideologies. And this, I mean, for example, these ideologies are not representing I mean the, the interest of what of our community. So here, that's why I mean um, that's why our country is not moving ahead. Our country is not developing. So, uh, what I think is that, you know, first we need to uh, decrease, I mean, the number of, of, of uh, parties that we do have. And I, I, I really, I really support, I mean, the motion that, that, that young people, I mean, those who, um, those who are here in this, I mean, the, the sit-in should start to make like a new, I mean, uh, parties, and these new parties should uh, represent the interests of what of this country, not about, uh, not like previous parties or I mean the old parties. They are not, they are out of date actually. They are not, you know, adding to this country, but they are the main reason of what of, um, you know, uh, you know, I mean, the shortcoming or stopping this country to, uh, you know, to 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 go or to develop. Um, these previous parties just have, and um, they just keep having like, um, you know, rhetorical speech and, you know, they're just calling um, for the interests that just concern like persons, not this country. So I think people should um, really think about uh, creating new parties and we shouldn't allow, uh, you know, any single party that, that has like, um, um, ide ideologies are such, uh, such a, like, you know, uh, religious ideology or, you know, like a tribe ideology or uh, parties that are calling for a specific group of people. No. I mean, the, the, the goal should be, uh, the goal should be uh, matching the interests of the of whole community. This is what I believe. Thank you very much for your answer. Please give a round of applause for him. All right. So, uh, do you have any remarks on what he has said? Yeah. To some extent, I agree with you. Okay, uh, either we have new parties or we have uh, reforming the parties themselves. Okay, by having new ideas, new ideologies. Okay, so that would be good. So, but if it is still goes as they used to, so we'll be having nothing. We're not gonna gain anything. Okay, because 
if we uh, if we were gonna have something, we would have it. I mean, in the past. So in the past, we did not have anything from them. So reforming their ideologies and even uh, reforming uh, the whole parties that would be better for our country um, to maintain the coming youth and the new youth who made the revolution. So this is will be good. Yeah. But before you comment, okay, welcome. Yeah. Before you, you come. Welcome. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Mohammed Karim. Uh, good, uh, good to see you here in this place, here in the in the headquarter. I'm so glad to see you here in this place. Uh, let me to talk about the. Firstly, let me to talk about the the people, those who have been killed there in the uh, in the Nile Strait. And I hope to high condolences to their families. And there is, uh, in that place, there is some of the unknown peoples, unknown persons. They are come, uh, they are gang shooters. They kill the innocent p people there in the Nile Strait. So, uh, we believe we believe in it that there is a, the deep country has, is still, is still controlled the anything there at that place. So we are here uh, to do our best in order to to read it out those people from the from this country. So uh, I want to talk about the the old parties, the parties in the Sudan. As you know, here we have a crisis of the parties here in this country. We have more than hundred parties here in this place. So uh, there is some parties called or the old parties. Just there is still uh, have their old ideolo ideologies. Uh, so these parties still there are some of these parties that is still uh, glorious for the leaders, the old leaders of these parties. So in the coming our uh, civilian government, we need the new parties have been arised up like uh, we have like uh, professional Sudanese professional associations we need this party these things uh, this professional association have inside it have a lot of parties we need uh, to be like a party at the coming coming government also like uh, Declaration, freedom, and change, like the party. So we need uh, the two parties here in this country, in the, our uh, new country here. So uh, the old, the old parties is not make anything. So there is, as the previous regime is still ruling us. There are some of the parties is still rising, just. There is some. Uh, there are a lot. Uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of parties. They have no. Their the their group. They have no qualified. They are not qualifying people. So, the actual game make the fake parties in order to help help them in the elections. So we don't need like those uh, parties in the coming civilian government. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, gentlemen, yeah, welcome. Well, my question is coming, okay? Assalamualaikum. Um, concern for the parties in our country, um, I think this part is uh, spent. Uh, a lot of time, but they didn't uh, give the country what the country deserved because they were doing by their own interest. If I say they give the country uh, 
we wasn't still here and our country wasn't you know will not still here in this dilemma because uh, some friend mentioned about we have more than 100 parties it is about 170 parties uh, if we ask it ourselves why we have a lot of these parties and what is the benefit of these parties if we say this is democracy why they don't give the country when they are doing their responsibility as the parties in our countries. The question that was being raised uh, to reform the parties, uh, I'm agree, in addition for my own idea, we need to change all these parties. Because even if the PC people, those whom they are standing here behind for us, uh, they are come from also the, these parties. But I think that this young generation or young guys, they have power to change. If they had a good rehabilitation, so we can change. They can change, they can build a parties, not the parties like what we have. Uh, I do call like a kingdom parties. A kingdom parties. Because this party pre presented us the family parties, like uh, Hezbollah, uh, democratic parties, and the hypocritic parties like uh, NCP, what has been done. And I do believe that uh, in our country, there will never ever be a party like NCP, for, you know, NCP party in our country. And I hope do so not to be party like this one. Because this party is the reason that creates a lot of parties in our country. Do you know why? So, because of their own interest. If the election comes, they want to have a lot of parties to contribute to them. If the opposition parties rejected the election, so maybe they are going to have another parties to participate in. And this part, the NCP party is going to be the dominant party to win the election. And they did, and they succeed. And how they were a hypocrite party? Because they were doing with their own interests, not the interests of the, our country. Why my friends mentioned why America has just only uh, two parties. There are three parties, but the uh, third party has been devastated already. Just only two parties, Republicans and Democratic. These parties, when the leader elected and finished his duration, He's going, not going to be go at home, but they have a legislative council. This person is going to be there, like what we have here, parliament. This one is going to give them, you know, there's powerful ones. You know, above today, uh, president. If there's any issue, it's going to be prevented to the country, so they are going to have these people first. And then they're going to announce it to the president how it's going to be in election, whether it's going to be an uh, external issue, they're going to have, you know, a galaxy from them. That's why what I'm saying that in our country, this is a change, but not, we are not come a complete change. If we finish it, a complete change. So I hope that we have to eradicate it, eradicate it, these parties. Also, I do, I do believe they, they, they have some role it. They have some role it in our country, but not to keep, as I mentioned, they keep their own interests, not the interests of the country. Because if they were playing the role of the country, not their own interests, our country today will be more developed like America. Because we are more diversity. If you see that this a big, a big parties, they just presenting as a family, not just only you know, dissimulated people participating in these parties. You might find that, like, look like Hezbollah. And I do appreciate it, the use of Hezbollah when Sadiq al Mahdi rejected today's streak. But the youth said that we are going to accept it, we are going to follow this streak at least to stop or at least to bring a civilian government. And so this streak is success. And you see, this is kind of, you know, 
um, problem that we have in our parties. And also democratic parties. You know, this party also leading as a kingdom. There's only one leader or president is still leading to this party. Why they didn't give him give them the other participant? And that's why this problem all comes today, these parties. And in the coming days, I hope that, and I think that uh, it's going to be changing and to eradicate it. And as much what I would like to say also, look like a, a rebellious position in Darfur. When these people is come, they come to the agreement. They say that we are going to, we're not just going to have, want to uh, share today al bashir regime, but we would like to give back to our people homeland. But when they come, they just take their, you know, their position to, you know, to build house. And they don't think that when they never went to the place of displaced people, refugees, to say what you are doing, and we bring peace, uh, peace to you to be back home. They just come to Khartoum and build towers and write a very good countries, and then they making us a parties to join uh, NCP parties. That's why that we are going to reform these parties to bring the women's, you know, in 2005, when Yasser al-Arman was going to be, you know, competing to the election, he make equality, to, he bring four women's. But here in Guatemala, we don't have women. Why? The Kandaga was play a great role. Why we don't have? We have just done only one, two. Maryam Sarek al Madi. And this is one of the women parties. Women, she had not, you know, she never did uh, to the rebellion. Just only talk, go to the Emirat, go to the. That's why we would like to share those whom they had a great role in the presentation or demonstration. That's why we have a lot of problems. And this issue is going to be uh, a lot of the time and not just only a lot of time for changing or changes you know it's very near to uh, to achieve our competition to uh, to the uh, TZ or military uh, sector so I hope that they will allow the voice of the nation and then the country can go for world to eradicate what problem we are living today thank you all right, thank you, sir, for your much uh, insight on this topic as a whole. So, um, if we can just, if I can just speak for a minute, uh, what is the opposite of having multiple parties? Of course, uh, the uh, logical answer is to have a single party, only one party. So, if we look at countries that has only one party, can we presume that those countries are democrat? The answer, of course, no. We can see China, a clear example for that. They have only a single party that is basically taking full dominance and full monopoly in all of the country. Right. So um, having a single party does, of course, first of all, it does not represent the views of the whole country. Second of all, it forces monopoly and forces the country to be, compro uh, to, to be dominantly controlled by that single party. So I think that if we had more parties, it will be much more preferable for us to choose. And it's basically, when it comes to the elections as a whole, or democracy, it's survival for the fittest. Right, it's survival, <coughs> survival for the fittest. If, it, if there were fair elections in Sudan, right, if there were fair elections in Sudan, I can trust, I can safely say that at least 98% or 95% of those parties that we have currently will be completely neglected because they don't have a certain ideology, they don't have a system to flow, a workflow, sorry. They don't have a methodology to follow. So most of those uh, parties will be diminished with time or it can be united under one new umbrella or under new coalition for, for them to attract new voters. So it's basically a democracy, people. And uh, there's an English saying that says, the more the merrier. Yeah, I know that, you know, the more you have is not always good, but when it comes to democracy, more options are, you know, they provide more attractions to people as a whole. So this is my uh, personal remark on this.
Okay, thank you so much, okay? Um, yeah, let that gentleman will get his idea. Okay, for the people of Jaskam, we're talking about uh, parties in Sudan. Uh, do we need to have less parties or more parties? Which one is better and why? Welcome to the show, firstly. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, my name is uh, Abbas Dahab. My name is Abbas Dahab. I always uh, start my speaking by the logo that which is written um, a few days ago. Um, okay. Um, step down, Burhani, down, down, NCP, step down, Himeti, down, down, Kabashi, down, down, no segregation, down, down, we are one nation, down, down, no segregation, down, down, we are one nation. Okay, thank you very much for that. So, uh, in fact, I'm very poor in political ideas, <laughs> to be exact. But I support only um, two parties, which is right wing and the second is left wing. Two parties. Why? Because we have different ideas as Sydney's. We are not, uh, we don't have only one religion. We don't have only one um, way. Uh, we have many ways. So right wing and second wing parties will be a good parties. Everyone should support the idea which he is going with his uh, point of view. Um, the disadvantages of more um, parties, previously actually, as we know, um, um, NCP used the idea of Ferrek to suit I, I don't know in English, so <laughs> yeah, okay, dividing, divide and conquer. So they use this. Uh, so uh, according to by this idea, they abuse the parties. They abuse the parties. For example, if um, I'm against them, I'm a leader of party and against them. So they invite me to to join the IDF. I said no. They are going to another one, to another leader. And he may, uh, or they may confess, they may, uh, yes, accept the idea. Um, the, this is disadvantage. And the advantage of um, more parties is they met leaders of, uh, of people. So majority of those who is good in politics in this headquarter, so they, they will um, support ideas of uh, politics politics. So thank you very much. I'm sorry for that. Thank you so much. Uh, again, Mike, yeah. Welcome. Can yeah, introduce yourself firstly. I'm uh, Tassim Algam from Mount Madani. One of my sons notified the absence of the Kandaka Maria أنا حقيقة داير هو يتكلم عن إنه سكنداكا ما ممثلة في الحرية والتغيير إلا مريم الصادق أنا داير أوريه ليه ما ممثلة الإعلان واللوائح بتاعة الحرية والتغيير بتطلب من كل مكون من كل مكون يمثل الريبريزنتيف بتاعه ممثله فلما تجي مثلا فور اكزامبل الحزب الشيوعي تقول له دارين ممثلك ما بدينا كنداكا بدينا ميل رجل وعشان كذا بس بدي حبيت اوضحها لك ثانك يو ثانك يو ثانك يو سو ماتش اوكي هي سيد ذات if you ask any party to give you a representative member, he gives you a man. Okay, that's it. This is why they're. Yeah, that is why. But again, my question is: You think that this will be a democracy if we have more parties, multi parties in the country? But don't you think that there is no democracy inside the parties because they do not practice? the democracy itself. Why? Because the same faces 
the same leaders are there from the even the birth of the parties. <laughs> uh, some of them is uh, are outdated, right? So, what do you think? All right, so I think your question is somewhat connected to the question that we have previously asked, is the, asked which is that, uh, which was, should we start making new parties or should we start creating new parties or should we reform the previous parties? So I have pointed out the fact that most of the, or not most, but a lot of the participants in the previous demonstrations were young or youth party members of the already traditional parties. And I give an example of Mohammed Najel Assam, who is uh, affiliated to the um, uh, the union party. So this question is somewhat tricky. So we have those traditional parties who their leaders have been ruling for the past 20 to 30 years. We can give a clear example, whether it's Al-Mir Ghani in the union party or the family of Al-Mahdi exactly in the Ummah party. So. I think that it's somewhat of a tricky point over here. It's a party, and of course, there has to there have to be elections for them to pick a new person. So, if you cannot, we have a, uh, a, a prophet saying, like, uh, or we, we have a verse in the Quran uh, which is says, "In Allah, la yghayru ma biqawmin, hatta yghayru ma biyafusihim." God does not change what's in the uh, what's the condition of the people until unless they change what's within themselves. This is like a rough translation for it. I'm sorry. But so when it comes, if we want democracy, we cannot expect democracy from parties that has been having the same leaders, the same forces for decades and decades. What we can hope for that to happen is that the party members, the youth specifically, and the women, of course, of those parties, is that they should rise up. They should demand their position in the uh, executive offices of those parties, right? They should ask their demand for that. And if not, the demands have been uh, satisfied. I think that what the best thing that they can do is that they can uh, break out from the certain party because, I mean, it's ruled by a certain uh, ideology and it cannot be changed. And either join or create new parties that are more flexible and more understanding to the idea of our current generation so it's basically a matter of demanding what you have or demanding your right in that specific party i mean of course it, eventually it's a party it's not like a uh, sorry it's not like a um, uh, something that you are born with it's a, and it's an ideology and of course your ideology can change uh, depending on the circumstances so i think that the youth should demand for their places in those parties and if not they could just you know break loose and make their own parties so this is my idea or this is my answer is is does anyone have a different point from this okay so we have one two sure you can join us once again yes, very short okay sure. very short which um I, I'm, I'm doubting even our independence we're always keep keep, keep saying that we're independent but we are still ruling by a very ex-ruler. Uh, and that's why I keep saying that we have to remove this very ridiculous party, which is since we took independent, uh, people going forwards, but our country is going backwards. And that's why I, I totally doubt it. And I am really shocked if we are depends on those previous parties that you are proving us to our, that our life to be so forwards. Uh, the only one thing what I'm going to speak is there is conflict between previous generation and nowadays generations. And the conflict though based on 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 distrust because all generations they keep claiming that well educated generation right now, they are not capable enough to present what they're supposed to present. And that's why they're they're our role model. They keep saying that they're our role model, but they never knew that twenty one century generation they are different than previous generation. They are open minded and life which you're living right now is, is is totally different than their own life and time for slavery for time for giving order is over and that's why only one mechanism to send them this message where it exists of course there are reason for our existence but they have no right to control our life we have a right to be to, to rule our life and to present our life even to be our own role models. Of course, very shame to, for young generation, they keep talking about 
democratic, I mean, I mean, mm -hmm. NCB, because we always keep saying that our main problem is caused by NCB. No, our main problem is caused by X, X parties since we took independence. I never ever come across a smelling country that which is really giving sense to, to me. And that's why I'm always terrorizing since uh, this in the, even this NCB is not yet came. I was always give orders. I never feel that I'm present in this country. I never feel that I'm part of this country. And that's why NCB already, of course, finished the, the, the action which has been met by previous party. And that's why we have to know previous party, we have previous party, please, they should step down. We have to remove them. They like or not, this is new generation. New generation, they have their own life. Let them to design their own life by their own choice. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have always many uh, so important point, which is human rights, and I think we're gonna talk about this tomorrow, inshallah. Human rights and even security, and because we need a uh, a party, or we need a government that uh, to seek a, a turbulency balance between security which is too often threatened and human rights too, uh, too often denied so we need that uh, to be discussed tomorrow um, till that time we're gonna have last comments from you are there any questions there in the, in the group the live are there any questions no there is no question there is there are no questions I will comment yeah yeah gentlemen because you didn't share okay Welcome. Yeah. Introduce yourself firstly. Uh, I have just uh, come and I heard that uh, you said that uh, in residence uh, we, don't have, we don't need to have uh, like parties or something like this. So what about the, the parties that concerning all the people they have been excluded? I'm talking about the uh, marginalization. What about this part? Okay, we did not say that we don't need to have parties here. We said that we need to reform parties, okay? Or to have new parties to represent the youth, okay? So either we reform or we have new parties. You got my question? <laughs> the last, uh, okay, welcome. Very thing, very thing. My name is Olhad Osman Oli. I come from the White Nail State. Uh, I have, I have four decisions for, for revolutionaries. First, all, all of the, the revolutionaries are keep themselves. Number two, the people to be, the people to be to be very ready for meeting the enemies or weapons in or in, on, on front of of them all all of the nations are be are be very ready I don't know, I don't know speak yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for your sharing and for your participating. Uh, last comment because time is, I think, is about to be over. Yeah, welcome. I see, I see him, okay. We said not sure again. Yet. Welcome. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First thing I want to say, okay, here we say it's a Sudanese research conduction, right? The first thing I want to I want to say, I want to say to any person, we want to change ourselves before we change our country. Because when I even in my in prayer, when I go to prayer, I find I found many persons, many persons. When you pray in the front of person, he was white or his he was he, his skin was red or white, he will push you. He will push you, right? He will push you away. Like you are not a, 
his brother. In, 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 in Islam, we are brothers, all of us. We are brothers. Oh, yeah. That's why I want to say, before we change our country, we want to change ourselves. And we want to love each other. Before we do anything in our country, you love your, your brother. You love another person, like yourself. That's why any, I came here first. First day when I when I came here, I found a gentleman. I want to say like that, but that gentleman he he say that's it. I think you know here. Yeah. When I want to say I see that person, he he told you that thing. I go back to my home. That day when I find that, yeah, now I hear many many persons, many guys. They say good things. Yeah, we. I'm, I'm with them. I'm with them. But first thing we want to change ourselves, and we want to see another person because I have. I have so one thing I want to ask. Today, I'm, I'm here, I'm alone. When I go to pray, any person thinking I'm bigger, why? That is not good. You want to see, even that person, is, he was alone, don't think a bad thing about him. You want to ask him before you do anything for him. You ask him, maybe he, he, he was not a bigger. That's why, maybe he was not a bigger. First thing, it, don't do anything before you ask that person. Ask him. Maybe he, when he told you, when he told you, when he told you what his reason, you will understand. It. That's why I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. Thank you so much. Believe me, we are all brothers. Yeah, thank you so much. I would like to point out that the Sudan Research Foundation have raised an initiative saying no to racism just for diversity no to racism just for diversity and this is one of the cornerstones of our revolution i believe that the, the diversity that we had in our revolution was the was one of the cornerstones that we of uh, the pr principles that we followed through the revolution and thank god so far i have not seen any sign of race any sign of racism within the city at least so when we say then you sudan this will be a priority uh number one i mean one of the first uh, if not number one one of the major priorities that we need to follow that in that we should not marginalize or we should not distance ourselves from uh, Sudan because uh, we all know that our country is quite diverse when it, when it comes to religion, when it comes to ethnicity, when it comes to background, even languages. We have we have more than 100 languages. And the matter of thinking just like Dr. John Kerry, let us stop the crazy ideas that we are all Arabs. We're not all Arabs. Right, so this is one of his major points of discussion or one of his major beliefs, the fact that Arabism cannot unite us, Arabism that is opposing Africanism cannot unite us, Africanism that is opposing Arabism cannot unite us, Islam cannot unite us because not all of us are Muslims, Christianity cannot unite us, not all of us are Christians, but Sudanism, Sudanism is the main factor or the the only factor that can that can unite us you can unite all of us in this country and sudanism is what we should follow sudanism it what is what we should take as a cornerstone in our new sudan so this is my point in your regard and thank you very much thank you thank you thank you for so much so far last comment the last comment a few seconds, please. Um, um, what I want to comment, uh, it's about, um, you know, uh, the, the, the point of, what, of reforming, I mean, these parties. Um, you know, the, the, the problem is not, it's not just on people, I mean, the leaders or political elites, but uh, the problem is on the you know, the ideologies of, of, of these parties, okay? Because they are not representing uh, the interests of, of the country or the, the whole interest of the country. So what I mean uh, by having, for example, I suppose the, the motion that we should, for example, create new, uh, you know, parties, and these old parties should be decreased, or at least we should have, like, only four or five parties and I don't suppose the idea of, of having only one party because 
uh, having one party does not create like um, you know a competition. So we need to have like five, four parties, and then I mean the competition between these uh, these parties will um, you know will um, will will give I mean to I mean to will give these political elites or will support or will let these political elites to uh, do their best in order to uh, to uh, to develop this country because uh, what I believe is I mean the, what I believe about the visions of, 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 of political parties is that that always um, is representing or is is, is having uh, the, the scatter of, of of uh, developing I mean, the country, I mean, economic side, okay? So we have to ask these parties, what do you have and what are you going to, you know, to, to uh, present to Sudanese people? If it is not matching, I mean, the, the interests of the country and the, you know, the, the, the way to develop this country, then this is not the parties that we, we want. So we need to, to, to form, I mean, the rules and regulations that, that can um, guarantee that all parties that we've got are are just supporting the interests of our country. A question. A question. I have a question. As we say that there is a the, the, there in Sudan here we have a lot of more than hundred parties here. I want to talk about the the fake. Parties that uh, the extra game make it that uh, make the the fake uh, the fake the fake parties in order to make uh, to use in the elections. What the Disney of these parties after the our uh, civilian civilian government is coming? I think Mr. Mohammed here answered this question before, right? He said that we will have a, a election and then no one is going to vote for them. No one. Okay? So either they are going to reform themselves or they die. <laughs> it's basically uh, the English proverb that says survival for the fittest. It's, it's going to be exactly like that. This is my point of view. If the elections were fair, if they were completely democratic, if they were, you know, with complete uh, and utmost transparency, I, I'm, cer I'm certain of the fact that, you know, a lot of the parties will either be diminished or joined under a certain coalition or have, or, or, or uh, you know, uh, taking the initiative of having a complete um, reform for their own ideology and their own uh, methodology. So I think this is my answer to your question and how it was as well as satisfying they, for you. Oh, you have a remark? Sure. But if you do that, they are, they are going to, to, to want to take their, their rights. If you do that, they need to take their rights in order to, to have elections or something like this. Um, I think that we should uh, also consider the fact that when it comes to elections, we don't have only a single election. We have elections in the states, we have elections, you know, the federal elections that um, that chooses the legislative uh, assembly, our parliament. So the, my, we can say that there are two, uh, two, 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 two levels of elections. So I think that the first level will determine the efficiency and the, you know, the perception or the... Um, reaction from from the people to that certain party right so it's it's only a matter of choice it's a matter of democracy it's a matter of freedom if democracies as i said if and only if the elections were transparent if they were equal if they were completely uh, accurate i if i may say um you know those parties will have the reaction of the public towards them for on them Right. If the party claimed a good ideology and had uh, promises to the country that is reachable, reachable within their limits, I think that the people will vote for them. I mean, just put your mouth where your claim is. That's simply it. All right. Thank you so much. Our time is over. And just a last piece of advice. So, just we need to just say throw away um, 
the selfishness. So those parties are, have only self-interest. They do not put the patriotism, the self of the, uh, the interest of the country uh, in front of their eyes. If they do so, the country will be better. So we need a patriotic people to lead the country, and that's it. As Abraham Lincoln once said, and I quote, the world will let him know no longer remember what we say here, but he can never forget what we did here, that this, that this day shall not have died in vain, that this nation shall have a new birth of freedom, and the government of the people, for the people by the people shall not perish from the earth tomorrow at the same time. Good night. Thank you.